I love using Google Sites to organize content for students. And so this is just an example of how you can make it so that way your content is a little more interactive on a Google Site. This is just an example of how you can use WordWall. I have the content about Google Classroom here. And so I have some chunks of information here. I probably have a little more organized than this, but I just trying to give you some ideas here. And I even have like a slides presentation here that the students can interact with and view. And then I have this space here where I want practice time. So that way they can practice with the vocabulary or the concepts prior to their assessment. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can insert a word wall game into a Google site. And this is real simple. So WordWall, you can go to wordwall.net. They have all kinds of different interactives. They have, this is a matching game. This is an airplane game. This is a game show. You can put in your content and then you are able to have students participate directly in that content. So I'm gonna show you how to put this interactive into a Google site. You have some settings that you can do if you want them to have lives or if you wanna set a timer. And so I will go ahead and keep these settings. I like them. You don't have to use an embed option. What you do need to do is hit the share button hit my students and set an assignment. And then you can decide what the results are titled. You can set a leaderboard, which is kind of fun. And you can set no deadline or you can set a specific deadline for when you want this to appear. And so the students can just keep playing this over and over until they improve their score. And so now that I have this set the way I want, I will hit copy because it's going to copy that link. And putting it in a Google site is super easy. All you need to do is decide where you want to put it and insert with an embed option. Now you can use the insert tab here and use embed here, or you can use the insert tool by double clicking in here and choose embed and just paste or control V that link in. Now you have two options here. You can do the whole page or you can do the preview. And if you do the preview, it's just a picture and it will take them to WordWall. I want my WordWall directly in my Google site. So I will hit insert with the whole page and it will reside directly in here. Now this is where you want to get a little careful because if you have it too big, then it's too difficult for the students to interact with because they have to deal with some scroll bars. So you're going to want to test this out. And if you click and drag a little too much, like I've let go here and it's still going, it'll just keep stretching and pulling. So you want to make sure that you're careful with how much you stretch and pull and actually stop where you want it to stop. I wasn't real careful there. So there it stopped nicely. I'm going to try and center this by grabbing in the middle of it. So if I want to see what this actually looks like, I will hit the preview icon here. And so the students would be able to interact with the content, all those videos, the slides presentation, and then they would have some practice space here with WordWall. And the students would be able to play directly in your Google site instead of visiting WordWall outside of your Google site.